Hello, uh, today we will continue with question number three for the paper. Uh, sorry for the delay, I've been so busy these few months and I couldn't find the time to continue to do the questions. But uh, I've managed to find some free time now and let's continue with question number three. So um, the question number three, part one, says that we should find the first three terms in ascending power uh, of x in the expansion of 1 minus x to the power of 6. Um, there are several ways of doing this and there, are, um, there is one easy way that I could think of but let's uh, go with the general uh, method and that is that it is equal to the sum from r to from, z from 0 all the way to n uh, where n is the index which um, of the binomial expansion and in this case is 6 so ncr I forgot what this is called and uh, multiplied by a to the power n minus r times b to the power r so here that n is equal to 6 and this is the um, this is the um, the, ind uh, the index of the expansion there is also the r is um, well it's a function for, for the sum function um, the a here it's um, 1 which is just the first term of the um, there and b here is equal to minus x so um, ncr is an expression which is given by the following and um, n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial so let's do the sum um, that would be um, that and now let's calculate the first ncr so in the first case the n will be um, 6 factorial divided by 0 factorial times 6 factorial and that's multiplied by a which is 1 to the power n minus r n is 6 and r is equal to 0 so um, 6 times b to the power r which is 0 and that is equal to um, that's 6 factorial divided by 6 factorial 1 and 0 factorial is just 1 and so it is this is just 1 and that is um, plus the second term is now still 6 factorial because it's n and doesn't change here and r now is 1 now we're moving on to the next term so it's 1 factorial times n 6 minus um, n minus r which is 6 minus 1 which is 5 factorial 5 factorial and that multiplied by 1 this time is to the power 6 minus 1 so 5 times b to the power 1 uh, well in this case b is equal to minus x so let me just delete that so b is equal to uh, minus x and in the previous case it was also minus x but it's to the power 0 so it's just 1 so and 6 factorial divided by factorial 5 factorial that is just 6 6 times 1 to the power 5 1 so 6 times minus x that gives just minus 6 x okay and finally the final term of uh, well the third term is given by 6 factorial divided by this time it will be 2 factorial because now r is equal to 2 and now it's n minus r that will be five, um, 6 minus 2 4 factorial times now 1 to the power 4 now that n is equal to 6 minus 2 so it's 4 and minus x this time it will be to the power oh that the previous one was to the power 1 so now it's to the power 2 and so this will be 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial um, 6 factorial divided by 4 factorial that will be 
20 20 divided by 2 factorial that will be 5 that that should be 5 yes uh, let um so 6 factorial 6 times 5 actually no 6 factorial divided by 4 factorial the 4 factorial cancel that will give you 6 times 5 30 30 divided by 2 15 15 times x squared and so th that means that the, f the first three terms of the expansion it is 1 plus oh, or minus 6x plus 15x squared okay and that's the answer for part a and you would follow this very similar um, actually it's a very similar process in um, part b but for your benefit and since because i'm just uh, because i'm just wa doing one question i'll just do that for you as well so let's clear this pa page and we'll do that over all over again so here it's 1 plus 2x plus uh, to the power 6 and here here n is still 6 a is equal to still 1 and but b here is 2x positive 2x so um remember the formula and that's from r is equal to 0 all the way to n and n c r and that's multiplied by a to the power n minus r and b to the power r so uh, let's do that so so um the first term is n to um or and remember n c r is equal to the following and prime to the power uh, over r, r prime and minus r prime n prime here is given uh, well so let's do the first term um, the first ncr term is n 6 factorial so um, that's first so let me just do the first term so 6 factorial um, well I can just delete this because um, that's they all just get in my way 6 factorial divided by 0 factorial and 6 factorial it's uh, just repeating the same thing actually uh, yeah uh, that's multiplied by 1 to the power 6 and 2x to the power 0 so that's just 1 and the second term now is still 6 factorial divided by 1 factorial um, actually that's not 2 that's supposed to be 5 because n minus 1 uh, 6 minus 1 is 5 5 factorial multiplied by 1 to the power 5 2 x to the power 1 and that's just well this 6 factorial divided by factorial that's just 6 6 times 1 times 2 that's 12 x and the third term here 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial 4 factorial 1 2 to the power 4 2 x to the power 2 and that's 6 factorial divided by 4 factorial as we said about uh, before 30 30 divided by 2 15 but here 15 is not multiple it's um, 2x squared so that will give you 4x squared so 15 times 4 x squared and that is 60 x squared okay so really um so the first three term of the following expansion is 1 plus 2 of x plus 60 x squared um that's all there is for part b actually and for oh i didn't see this part i i hence find the coefficient of x squared in the expansion of 1 minus x times 1 plus 2x all to the power n6 okay um let me just write uh, i don't really remember i think the first for the previous part of the question that's 1 minus x to the power 6 and if i'm mistaken it was 1 minus 6 x is it plus 15x squared um yeah i think so i'm not too sure but actually let's just do, do a quick just do, do that quickly 
so the second um well we know the first term would be one and the uh, second term would be uh six over over two well the second term will be one five six and one to the power five oh well actually it's still algebra five and minus x that will be one and so yeah it is actually minus six x and the second term will be six prime two prime five four prime two uh, one to the power four and multiplied by minus x squared and that actually is 15 15 for x squared so yeah um, that's right so let's just delete um, delete these and leave those two at the bottom because we will need them this is actually um, if you're not used to this it, this part of the question might be very tricky so it says it's one 1 minus x 1 plus 2x all to power 6 now we shouldn't try to expand the first um, the the things inside the bracket because they'll just give you a, a, a lot of trouble but instead use the following law um, the exponent law that will give me 1 to the power 1 minus to the power x and that's multiplied by it's just that's just the law of the thing so if you have a b all to the power n and that's just equal to a n squared times b n squared uh, just just a side note in case you didn't know that um there was a reason why they did they asked us to do to find the first three terms of um, in the previous question so we can use them in this um part of the question that's why there is the word hence okay so let's just use the results from the previous equation so we know that the first three terms of the first term here is 1 minus 6x plus 15x squared that's from the first um, part from part a and multiplied by the first three terms of those 1 minus well, actually, that's plus 12x plus 60x squared. Now, you might think that actually there is more to this than the previous, uh, than these. Um, it, that, that shouldn't be just three terms. That should be actually six terms. But if you if you expand it fully, you'll, you'll find that they would have a coefficients that are not necessary for, for um, this problem. They ask you to find the coefficient of x squared. If you just add the rest of the terms here, you would find that the coefficient, the x will be x cubed and 4 to the power 4 and so on. So they're not necessary. So um, that's the point. And they just don't want, they just, um, the point of the first two questions is to save you time in this part. But anyways, um, if you have, um, you might be confused with my explanation. So you can just ask me in, in the comment section and I'll provide an, my email for you to ask me about this, that question or any other question. But anyways, let's go on. So we just expand this normally, and, and it, I'm sure you can do this. Um, so 1 times 1, that's 1. Uh, actually, if I I would like to save you time, so they, ask, ju they just ask us to find the coefficient of x squared. So you just multiply. You just have to write the things that will give you coefficient of x squared. So 1 multiplied by 1 that's no x squared so we don't need that so blah 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 plus one one times uh that's one times 12x no x squared so do that one times 60x squared there is 60 there is x squared so 60x squared and okay now minus 6x times one so nothing yeah, sorry for the mess. Um, minus six x times twelve x, so there is x squared. That's minus seventy two x squared. Um, and and the other one would be would give you an x cubed term, so we don't need that. Uh, another blank. 
and now we'll add 15x squared times 1 that's just 15x squared and the rest will just be an, a cube term and a quartic term yeah quartic term 15x squared times 60x squared which we don't need so we just want to know the coefficient of x, x squared here so 60 72 and 15 you add them together 60 plus 7 or 60 minus 72 plus 15 uh, uh, 15 so 60 minus 72 that's minus 12 minus 12 plus 15 that's just 3 so the answer for this part of the question is actually 3 okay um i guess that's all there is to this questions um actually let me just check the answer um that was question three uh, just three so one minus six x plus 15 x squared right one plus 12 plus 60 x squared and yep that's right so that's all there is to this question and i hope to see you again in the next video thanks for watching Okay, never mind.